China was missing uh, in this entire conversation uh, from, I think, from 2019 onwards, from 2019 onwards when uh, former President Gotabe Rajapaksa came to power, up until even right now, China is very silent. China is missing in this conversation. If you take from Mahindra's period, uh, Mahindra Rajapaksa, former president's period, China was very, very vocal, very, there was so much of good relationship back and forth and there was all that and they gave a lot to this country in order to keep it going. Was that a prudent move to distance ourselves from China and do you think we are losing China at this moment? I don't think we are losing China because the people in the country have confidence that they need China as much as they need India. India being the big neighbor yeah. and also our cultural uh, homeland. Yeah. And on the other hand, uh, the closest support can come from India. And it did. And indeed it happened. Yeah. China has been a friend of our people in the country from the time of the rubber rice pacts. China even from the far distant past when you had people like Fai Hian mm -hmm. coming into this country bringing some element of Confucius doctrine. All these are uh, all these uh, experience this country has had with India on the one hand, with China on the other hand, appears to me to be necessary partnerships. On the one hand for the people of this country, on the other hand for the government and the people of this country. Necessary partnerships. And China was just offering one billion dollars at the time when we declared a preemptive bankruptcy. Why we need we not have done that. Why, did we, why didn't we do that? That is the point I am not able to give a clear explanation. But I could only suspect a conspiracy. By? By the IMF. Mm. 